Well, Amy Williams, congratulations. Well, thank you so much, Lisa. You know, a year ago, exactly, your team was tied for last place. What did you see in your team that made you believe that this could possibly happen in the year following? To be honest, from our final buzzer um, of our final game last year, I just thought this team really was um, motivated to make sure we did not have another season like that again. And they began really working hard from postseason workouts to offseason workouts to preseason workouts and just really buying in, uh, building confidence with the work that they put in. You know, you're no stranger to turnarounds. Um, a 13-win turnaround, though, is the best in your career. But you did it at Rogers State. You did it at South Dakota. In your mind, for a head coach, what is the prime ingredient towards a turnaround for a team in a program? I have the most incredible coaching staff in the country, and uh, they just are very selfless and find ways to um, just embody the whole, uh, if you want to have a good team, be a great teammate. And they do that every day um, with the way that they contribute and find ways to pick each other up and be there for each other. And uh, this coaching staff just um, kind of fizzles down then into our team. What would be your advice to a head coach who's kind of in that kind of season? is to really just uh, stay t uh, tough to what you believe and, and stay true to that. And, and I think, um, you know, just continuing to find ways to build confidence in your team. And really, there's no better way to build confidence than just uh, hard work and knowing that uh, they have put in the time to, to feel that confidence. Well, Amy Williams, the unanimous coach of the year on both the media and the coaches side. Congratulations again. Thanks, Lisa. Our staff is just really uh, humbled by that honor. Thank you.